Hello guys, I am Junaid Alam and today I am going to show you the 6 steps to become a professional character artist. Before this thing, I want to introduce you myself. So I am a lead 3D character artist at a mobile game industry from last 4 years now. And the whole journey took me about 7 years learning from YouTube for free and then coming to the game industry and becoming a lead character artist. So today I want to share you the secret to become a character artist and these are these sex steps. So let's get started. The okay, the step one is to learn a 3D software. This step is so obvious because to become a 3D character artist you must know a 3D modeling software. So in this case I would suggest Blender cause Blender is free, Blender have a better community and also this channel is about Blender. But this doesn't mean that you can't become a character artist if you're not using Blender. You can use Maya, 3D Max, Houdini or any other software. But we will talk about Blender. So first you have to learn the interface of Blender and I would suggest to do some random modeling like some hard surface, some organic things, try some landscape and do whatever you want. So this would be the first step I would suggest that at least create about 20 to 30 3D models, simple 3D models to have a basic knowledge of Blender. Now once you know all the basics and you know the software pretty much, then the next step would be to start the short courses. So by short courses I mean the free tutorials that are available on Sod YouTube and many of them are also on my YouTube channel so you can check the YouTube channel. So just search on YouTube for character modeling in Blender and you will get a bunch of free courses. Some of my recommendations are on the screen and also the links are in the description so make sure you can check it out. Now we done two steps where in the first we learn a software and then we try some character modeling. Now the third step is to know all the methods that are exist for creating 3D character. Now why this is important is because everyone have their own way and everyone is better in some of the ways and in some of them are not for them. So simply you have to first learn and know all the ways that exist so then you can choose the one that suits you. Now how would you get to know all the ways? Therefore I created a video on it where I showed you 10 ways where I created a character on 10 different methods. So that video is available in the description so make sure to check it out. And now let's jump to the next step. So once you observe the third step pretty well, the fourth step will be easy for you which is select the special method. So by special method, I mean the method that suits you well and the method that match with your skills. For example, some of the character artists are really good at sculpting and some of them are really good at polymorphic. So you have to create different character with different methods and then you will know that which method is better for you. So to me, when I'm going to create some simple characters, I try to have fully molding but if I'm going to have a complex one I first create a base mesh then I sculpt then I retopo and then the UV process and then I create texturing and rigging and this is how I finish my model. So the whole thing is that once you try different characters you will know your method and you will create your own pipeline and the way of work for yourself. Once you cover all these four steps, the step five will be to choose your style. So in modeling characters, there are a bunch of styles like NM style characters, Disney style characters, fully stylized, fully realistic, game characters, animation characters and much more. So there are two things that can influence you to choose your style. The first thing is your job. Like in my case, I am a, I got a job in a game industry so I choose to become a 3D game artist and the studio where I was doing my job I start to following their art style and now this is my favorite but if you think that something else influence or inspire you make sure to follow that and you can get a job according to that. Now we done all the steps it's just the last step. So we learned a software basics we created some cool characters there, we learn all the methods that exist, we choose our own method, we choose our art style and now it's time to master it. 
So there is a book named with 10,000 hours which give you a concept that you need to spend 10,000 hours in order to become the master of that. And that concept can be applied in character modeling as well. So you need to spend much more time with your art style. Also you have to follow the artists that have the same art style that you want and just keep going in it. If you are doing all the things inside Blender, also in other software, there are Facebook communities, Facebook groups for it. You can share your work, you can get feedback. Also there is my group in the Facebook, uh, the link will be in the description so you can share your work there and I will definitely try to review that and give you suggestions and feedback. Now we are at the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. For now, bye.